on how to use the read aloud feature in Microsoft Word on your Mac. Uh, so if you have a newer version of Microsoft Word, you'll have this ability. Um, you see it's up here in uh, this top toolbar here. But it's also available in uh, review. If you go to review, you'll see read aloud here. If you don't see it there, you can go to view and go to immerse reader. Um, if you just can't find it anywhere, you're going to go in here. These three dots at the top here. You're going to go down to more commands. Uh, anywhere in this white area, you're just going to tap. Doesn't matter what it is, where it is that you tap, and then you're just going to hit the letter R, and that'll bring you to read aloud. And you can take this and literally drag it up to here, so it's easy to access. Okay, so we're going to close all of this. Um, and we're going to access this. So I'm going to bring my cursor to where I want this to start reading. And I'm going to hit Option and Escape on my Mac. When a young girl is kidnapped and... So we'll automatically start reading. If it's reading too fast, you can slow it down. And sold into the sex trade. Her That's real turtle-like. Or you can speed it up. Trade, her mother hires a former soldier who stops at nothing to get the girl back and to make her captors pay. Obviously, that's way too fast. Um, and then, of course, if you don't like the voice that's being used, you can go to your accessibility window. So just go down to your settings. Open this up. Let me come out of here so you see where I'm going. You will see in here there's accessibility. You're going to click on that. And this is where you can change the voice. I find a lot of them are kind of robotic sounding. I sure like being inside this fancy computer. I sure like. Awful, right? Um, there's Tessa. Hello, my name is Tessa. But I find that uh, Siri voice one. Hello, my name is Martha. Hello, I'm Siri. The Siri voices seem to. Hello, I'm Siri. Sound the best. And uh, when you click the select the voice you want, make sure you have a speak selection clicked and you're good to go. Okay? So it's as simple as that. Once all that's done, you are just going to, again, you've got to hit this first. If you don't see a control bar here, hit this first and then you're pressing option and escape. And this bar comes up and then you can control it from there. He filled with stories. Now anytime you stop it and you want to make an edit or a change, you may very well have to just go back and press escape and option again and then again to this start it. This film is intended to be a warning it to start it over again. Okay, I find that anytime you make a little edit, this box might disappear, and you just have to hit that option and escape again to get this box to pop back up. Alright, I hope this helps. Take care.